Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make your wig look super natural like this here, even if you have a little bit of a wonky hairline like Melina. This video here is on this wig, and it's sponsored by wowebony.com. Make sure you guys check them out. They've got a lot of great wigs at, honestly, great prices as well. So this is the cap here, and you guys can see the root area. I like the fact there's no plain line of demarcation. This is with a lighter tone lace, and you guys can see there's all of this parting space here. Now, in terms of cap construction, it's constructed rather well. There are four combs, one in the nape, one by each ear, one in the top of the head, which is usually cut out, and then, of course, there are adjustment straps around the perimeter. Uh, I want you guys to see here, you can part it literally anywhere in the top of the head. It still shows like scalp. The knots have not been, been, been bleached, but I'm gonna show you guys a technique that's super simple to help disguise that. And the front is also pre-tweezed. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and move this part line just because uh, Melina wears her part on her left side. So we're gonna go ahead and part off and then I'm gonna use this Tool Science uh, curling wand and lay that part in the direction I want it to go. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and push it back so she's not running over people while she's driving. And over on the side here, I want you guys to see some of the different wigs and the prices that they have. I only pulled up the color treated ones uh, like this. I will say I was incredibly impressed by just the array of colors they have, the price range that they have, as well as the quality of this hair. It is very soft. It doesn't feel dry or anything like you would expect for bleach hair to feel. Um, this hair is easy to work with. It curled nicely. And this is the hairline once we've laid it back. You guys can see that pre-tweeze situation going on. So let's go ahead and get this on Melina. And you guys can see the lace is blending pretty well with her skin tone already. I have not trimmed the lace off. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that hair back and out of the way. And then from there, we will go ahead and trim off the excess lace. So I'm just gonna pin back. We'll begin trimming off the excess lace on one side. And honestly, I start just in that center section and then work from the outsides on in. And you guys will kind of see what I'm talking about when I say she has a little bit of a wonky hairline. Her hairline comes further forward than most around the sides. So you guys can see that lace is very visible. So what I'm doing is pulling out some of her hair from the sides because you guys know she's growing out her mohawk. And I'm going to blend that in with the dark root on this wig. The fact that her hair is growing in is perfect for this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take some of her powder foundation and put it right in the part. This helps out if you don't have a uh, bleach knot. It just helps out with making it look more natural. On the sides, I'm going to do a dark eyeshadow, which I'm just doing a black eyeshadow and that way it helps to blend more with her sides. And then from there, I'll go ahead and lay her hair into the wig and just lightly hairspray just so that way it blends and lays right on in there. It creates an incredibly natural look because this is your natural hairline that's sticking out. So if you have a slightly lower hairline, this is a technique that can really be helpful to you when you are wearing wigs, things like that, especially if you don't wanna go through the whole situation of like pulling it down and basically minimizing your forehead. Um, from there, we're gonna go ahead and put some loose beachy waves in this hair. Um, I'm using another Tool Science uh, flat iron here and I'll try to link all these in the description box down below as well. By the way, uh, Melina, this is actually a collaboration video with Melina, so she is doing a video on her channel. Make sure to check that out after you watch this one. I'll link it in the top right corner. Uh, she is creating a custom makeup look for this wig. It is not the makeup look that you currently see her with, and honestly, it is really cute. I think you guys are going to love it, so make sure to go check her out once you finish this video here, because um, I think that you will love it. So once I've done those beachy waves in there, I'm just kind of tossing the hair some so it doesn't look so perfect. Uh, that way it just looks a little bit more lived in. And you guys can see this is the final look on Melina uh, with just me putting the wig on. Don't forget to check out her video. Uh, of course you guys can see like we are in here playing around. She's acting all crazy and stuff. It's kind of how we do. But um, check out her video. Let us know what you think about this wig in the comment box down below. And until next time, you guys, take care, God bless, and stay glam. You know we love you, boo. <laughs> Bye. Don't forget to check out Melina's channel here. You guys can see she's got tons of different makeup tutorials, so be sure to check her out. Of course, like I said, she'll have the video uploaded where she's got the uh, look for this wig here, so be sure to check her out. It's at Makeup Nina Ree here on YouTube.